gathered together today to share some incredible stories that I believe will truly captivate your imagination and leave you with something special. Let's begin. In the mystical land of ancient India, where the divine often walked among mortals, there existed a dense forest known as the Kailash Grove. This forest was home to countless creatures, from the smallest insects to the largest elephants. At the heart of the grove stood a grand temple dedicated to Lord Shiva, the great ascetic and destroyer of evil. Lord Shiva, also known as Mahadeva, was often depicted with a serpent coiled around his neck. This serpent was none other than Vasuki, the king of snakes. The story of how Vasuki came to adorn Shiva's neck is a tale of devotion, sacrifice, and cosmic balance. Many eons ago, Vasuki ruled over the serpent kingdom with wisdom and fairness. The serpents, under his reign, lived in harmony, their venomous nature balanced by their role in maintaining the equilibrium of life and death. Vasuki, despite his formidable power, was a devout follower of Lord Shiva, constantly seeking his guidance and blessings. One day, a grave threat loomed over the serpent kingdom. The evil demon Taraka, who harbored a deep grudge against Lord Shiva, sought to destroy everything associated with him. Knowing that Vasuki was a devotee of Shiva, Taraka set his sights on the Serpent King's domain, hoping to annihilate it and weaken Shiva's power. Vasuki, sensing the impending danger, meditated deeply and sought Lord Shiva's intervention. Moved by his devotee's plight, Shiva appeared before Vasuki and assured him of protection. However, Shiva knew that merely vanquishing Taraka would not be enough. A deeper bond between the celestial and the terrestrial was required to ensure lasting peace. In a grand display of divine intervention, Shiva decided to churn the ocean of milk, Samudra Manthan, to obtain the nectar of immortality, Amrita. The Devas, gods, and Asuras, demons, were called upon to assist in this monumental task, using Mount Mandara as the churning rod and Vasuki as the churning rope. Despite the enormous strain on his body, Vasuki willingly agreed to become the churning rope, knowing that this act would not only save his kingdom, but also bring great prosperity to the universe. The churning began, and Vasuki endured immense pain as he was pulled back and forth. From the ocean emerged many treasures, including the deadly poison Halahala, which threatened to destroy all of creation. In that critical moment, Lord Shiva, in his infinite compassion, consumed the Halahala to save the universe. His throat turned blue from the poison, earning him the name Nilkanth, the blue-throated one. The churning continued until the nectar of immortality finally emerged. The devas and asuras fought fiercely for the nectar, but through Shiva's wisdom and intervention, the devas ultimately secured it. The universe was saved and balance was restored. As a mark of gratitude and to honor Vasuki's sacrifice, Shiva placed the serpent king around his neck. This act symbolized the unity of power and devotion, the acceptance of both venom and nectar, and the balance between creation and destruction. From that day forward, Vasuki remained as an eternal adornment on Shiva's neck, representing the symbiotic relationship between the divine and the earthly, the protector and the protected. The serpents, once feared for their venom, came to be revered as symbols of wisdom, transformation, and the eternal cycle of life and death. The people of the Kailash Grove and beyond continued to worship Lord Shiva, drawing inspiration from the profound bond between the God and the Serpent King. Through this story, they learned the values of sacrifice, devotion, and the importance of maintaining balance in all aspects of life. And so, the tale of Lord Shiva and Vasuki lived on, reminding generations of the eternal dance of the cosmos, where even the fiercest forces can coexist in harmony under the watchful eyes of the divine. And this story not only highlights the mythological significance of Lord Shiva and his association with snakes, but also imparts valuable lessons on devotion, sacrifice, and balance. Once again, thank you for joining us. Your support and enthusiasm drive us to keep bringing you engaging content. Until we meet again, take care, stay curious, and keep exploring.